As we plan for the future of Douglas County, we first take a look back at from whence we've come. A two-year pandemic shifted our focus to ensure that Douglas County residents could have access to health services and financial support to get us all on the other side. Our county workforce worked around the clock to keep people safe and to offer them hope. Even in the midst of the storm, we opened new county facilities, offered new services, continued doing the business of the county, and kept the community safely engaged. The pandemic made us stronger and was the setup for our comeback. The setup to get us on our path to move Douglas forward from public safety, infrastructure, economic development, to public health, recreational facilities, and programs. We are on the comeback to transform Douglas County as we plan our community's future together. My name is Rick Martin. I'm Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And it is my pleasure today to introduce the Honorable Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairwoman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones governs with a winner's mentality, displaying a special brand of strength celebrated not only in Douglas County, but also throughout the Atlanta metropolitan region. Blazing a trail with her unprecedented election in 2016, Chairman Jones made history as the first African-American male or female elected to the highest office of Douglas County government. Due to her quiet strength and resilience, combined with 40 years of experience in the healthcare industry, Chairman Jones was uniquely prepared to lead Douglas County through the two-year global pandemic, coordinating county, city, and regional resources to safeguard the lives and livelihoods of Douglas County citizens. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairwoman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Thank you so much, Rick Martin, for that kind introduction. Before I start, I want to take a point of privilege because I would not be standing here without my board of commissioners, and I want to, I'm coming off script just a little bit. I want to certainly ask our vice chairman of the board of commissioners and district two commissioner, Kelly Robinson, if you would stand and just hold your applause so I get them up. I have something special to tell them other than I love them. <laughs> District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III, are you here? If, if not, I know you're here in spirit. District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen, please stand. And District 4 Commissioner Ann jones Skyder, please stand. I just want to say from a personal basis, you are the, as my daughter said, Mom, you say it all the time, but it's true, you're the wind beneath my wings. And this county would not be thriving without you all. Last night, our, our meeting, I saw camaraderie, cohesion, and I saw a strong board. So thank you for every single thing you do in this county. Please give them a hand. My executive team. Mr. Fred Perry, my deputy county administrator. If you just stand, I'm not going to make you speak. Tiffany Stewart Stanley, Assistant County Administrator, and our entire executive team, thank you for just moving the needle every time. You know, I'm a coach, and all we do is get it done. And thank you all. Thank you. I would like to thank Council for Quality Growth and the Douglas County Chamber for hosting this exciting occasion for Douglas County for five consecutive years. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Mr. Vice Chairman, Board of Commissioners, elected officials, appointed officials, county employees, volunteers, 
community stakeholders, clergymen, veterans, friends, and last but certainly not least, the citizens of Douglas County. Today, I stand before you as the daughter of a Korean War veteran, and he was a paratrooper. So I want to deliver a State of the County Address which celebrates our resilience and to praise your willingness to stay the course during these unprecedented times. Despite what we've experienced, we, the citizens of Douglas County, have confirmed the unwavering purpose of our presence by merely believing that our setback is a setup for our comeback, and thank God we are still standing. It is my distinct pleasure to reflect on an unparalleled year as we move forward in a unified manner with renewed strength, grit, and determination. Our yearning for excellence has exceeded the expectations of those who believed otherwise. Douglas County has become the promised land for progress. Our county is booming with residential and commercial growth, robust road construction throughout, and we have earned our 21st century bragging rights with billions of dollars in investment from the likes of Google, Amazon, Switch, Microsoft, and many, many more. 2021 was a year of growth in Douglas County. Our existing businesses added 1,000 new jobs. Our population grew by 2,000 residents, and we had a 9.1% overall business growth. That's amazing. Please. Applaud. It's only April, but 2022 is off to a great start. With the announcement of the Weston Fox Hall Resort project commencing, the announcement of a new film production studio, a new data center, and a new food processing facility, and a new advanced manufacturing facility. We, there's no stopping Douglas County. We on the comeback. <laughs> Our comeback has set us up for growth, diverse talent, and unimaginable opportunity. Our small businesses are the lifeblood and of our community and represents a significant portion of activity related to the economy in the United States and the Douglas County Board of Commissioners are committed to bolstering small business sustainability. To keep momentum going, we are changing the way we do business here in Douglas County. Last January, Partnerships between the city and county development authorities and Douglas County Chamber was formalized under one umbrella called Elevate Douglas. Elevate Douglas is a private public partnership that creates one voice for economic development in our county. And we are extremely grateful to the pioneers who made this milestone become a reality. Thank you, Chris Pumphrey, if you could please stand. If you're here. Thank you, Sarah Ray, if you could please stand. And all the board member affiliates affiliates for a job well done. Stan, if you were involved in this Elevate Douglas, please, if you're here. Thank you for a job well done. Douglas County government current financial position, let's talk a little bit about money. Douglas County current financial position is impressive and well positioned to address both current and future mandates. Our credit rating of AA2 from the national rating agencies 
reflects the discipline and the financial framework we have established and the positive outlook for the county. Our fund balance reserves, rainy day funds, remember about five years ago we had about $11 million in, in, in our reserves. Today, I'm proud to announce we have $33 million. $775,075, and that is 32% of our general fund. Since 2019, our budget has grown by 53%. The county has no outstanding taxpayer debt. That means no short-term debt or long-term debt. And we have continued growth and operating needs within our operating budget. Special thanks to the federal government for providing Douglas County with $5.5 million of COVID relief funding. And also opera funds of $28 million to fund the community during these tough, tough times. To assist with social, economic, financial literacy, infrastructure improvements, public health, and mental health needs. Property values are rising, and there is a significant new construction in the county resu resulting in an increase in the 2021 tax digest of 3.92%. Our sales tax revenues increased by 14% last year. The increase in the property values as well as strong retail sales indicate the continued strength of the economy. The spirit of comeback is resonating throughout the entire county. Optimism to keep moving forward during our darkest hours has been easier said than done. Our fight with COVID-19 has been devastating. The uprising in social unrest, racial disparity, homelessness, during a perplexed political climate across the entire nation has exhausted our mental capacity. There seems to be no rest for the weary. With market disruptions from the Ukraine crisis anticipated to add more cost pressures, which is causing a four decade inflation rate. Douglas County, we've come this far by faith and we've chosen to take a path requiring mind over matter. We are continuing to work while we wait for the storm to blow over. Mediocrity will never disrupt our pursuit of excellence and I am pouring out my heart to thank each of you for restoring, rebuilding, and revitalizing the place we call home at a time such as this. Our principles are aligned with my favorite football coach of all times, Vince Lombardi. Winning means you are willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. Together, we may not be remembered for what we said, but the history books will capture what we've done and give yourselves a hand. Our first ever gateway signage and landscaping initiatives are making a bold statement by confirming Douglas County is open for business. We've advanced our marketing efforts with nearly 25 LCD screens in various baggage claim locations in Hartsfield Jackson Airport, enticing vi visitors to explore outside the line and visit Douglas County. Most recently, the South Douglas 166 Scenic Byway was among 14 other sites selected here in uh, Georgia and officially certified as charming and exclusive hotspots in this state. Thank you, Douglas County voters, for moving Douglas County from ordinary to extraordinary, 
by approving the 2016 SPLOS, which ultimately yields funding for over 84 major projects, which includes transportation infrastructure, fire and EMS, and parks and recreations, and the pennies are paying off. <laughs> Douglas County is a melting pot of diversity, and together we are making a difference. We have great things happening within Douglas County government. Douglas County School System, our Well Star Douglas Hospital, our Douglasville Douglas County Water and Sewer Authority, Douglas County Community Services Board, and Cobb Douglas Public Health. Our accomplishments are significant, and some of the highlights include, because I would go on and on, I'll just talk about some of those significant ones. We have an 18,000 square feet senior center open in Lithia Springs in the fall of 2021. We had a 30,000 square feet multi-purpose center opened at Boundary Waters in the fall of 2021. Bill Arp and Fair Play Parks renovations completed in the fall of 2021. Renovations of a fire station number four, which is taking place this year, located in Fair Play, plan to be renovated the summer of this year. Renovation of the senior services located on Fairburn Road underway this year. Groundbreaking for the first ever State Drivers Services Center underway this year. We've been waiting a long time, Douglas. Let's give it up. We had a 30-year comprehensive tr uh, transportation plan completed for this county this year. G.92 Highway Construction Project completed and ribbon cutting plan for June of this year. Veterans Village Housing for Veterans opened this year under Douglas County Community Services Board's guidance and direction. We have the Lee Road widening project kicked off and it's underway this year and has been on the books for 20 years and we deserve a hand clap after that one, 20 long years. <laughs> Douglas Wellstar Hospital opened a brand new pediatric emergency center in the fall of 2021. Douglas County School System, System delivered a state of the arts sports complex with 5,000 seating capacity at Douglas County High School. <laughs> Alexander High School has an $8 million performing arts center coming soon. <laughs> Lithia Springs High School, old campus will be de demolished and a new campus built on the same site in the very near future. Give it up for Lithia Springs. <laughs> and to top things off, because we will always like to put a little icing on the cake, Douglas County School System is currently building a 6,000 seat graduation and multi-purpose arena coming soon. Our babies won't have to go to Carroll County no more. We're gonna do it here in Douglas. Let's give that up <laughs> to graduate. Cobb Douglas Public Health provided exhaustive support to Douglas County citizens by providing COVID-19. I just don't want to take my eye off the prize because they've done a phenomenal job this year. Vaccinations with booster shots and COVID-19 testing to combat the Omicron variant. Douglasville, Douglas County Water and Sewer Authority completed the Caps Ferry Sewer Expansion Project in 2021. That's huge for uh, our WSA. And last but not least, I must tout our Douglasville, Douglas County Water and Sewer Authority because they recently were awarded the 2022 Water and Treatment Plant of the Year for the state of Georgia. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Douglas County, within the last year, we've run some big plays, and we cannot afford to lose any yardage. Going forward, our comeback must remain competitive as we recover from a pandemic that has caused pandemonium for the entire world. This past year, 
a first ever strategic plan was developed, Douglas Forward 2025. A five year strategic plan is our playbook for planning our community's future together. Our comeback requires complete commitment as we celebrate our emotions from our responsibilities to promote unity, as we define our vision, craft our values, determine desired outcomes, and declare explicit accountability, and establish key performance indicators. Our strategic efforts are focused on culture, purpose, operating model, and execution. Our six goals include public safety, infrastructure, economic development, public health, recreation programs, and transformation of Douglas County. Public safety is a major component of the five-year strategic plan, and the Board of Commissioners are committed to funding our public safety agencies to assure competitive pay, high-level training, equipment, resources in order to sustain timely, quality, protective services to the citizens here in Douglas County. We, we will pursue every possible me measure to maximize community safety, and Sheriff Tim Pounds stands firm on his word. His word is nonsense and criminal activity will not be tolerated in Douglas County, period. In our pursuit of public safety, we will continue to invest in sophisticated fire and emergency response, E911, and emergency management training, equipment, technology, and resources to leverage preparedness, response, and disaster recovery opportunities. And Fire Chief Jolivet stands firm on providing impeccable customer services to all Douglas County citizens. Stand, Fire Chief. And if my sheriff is here, if you could too. <laughs> Infrastructure is vital as we build back better in our community. My administration is fully engaged in uh, the bipartisan infrastructure law and Douglas County is joining the movement to rebuild America's roads, bridges, rails, and expand access to clean drinking water and high-speed internet to revamp environmental justices and invest in our underserved communities. And that's huge because that infrastructure bill is huge for the entire United States. So please give our administration, <laughs> President Biden and his administration a hand. Our technology infrastructure is extremely important and we are investing over a million, uh, over a million dollars this year in upgrades and the sophisticated resources and equipment to stay connected with the world as we keep our county functioning. We must continue our efforts of improving and modernizing connectivity, increasing sidewalks, walking trails, biking trails, widening roads to alleviate traffic congestion. Many of our subdivisions are in dire need of resurfacing, and my administration has a vision and a plan to address the need. We have 965 subdivisions, so this administration has a plan and we will deliver. We will continue to develop and expand the multimodal network by increasing the number of routes and connectivity to urban hubs and advancing dollar ride access for our rural areas under consideration. We cannot take our eyes off the sites of environment. I am asking every citizen, every trash hauler, every business owner, and every visitor to join me in leading the fight to eradicate littering and improving recycling as we strive to keep Douglas County beautiful. <laughs> the 
Douglas County is a place where economic development is thriving. Nonetheless, we must continue to galvanize our workforce development and develop homegrown talent and build a strong workforce. We must continue to leverage partnerships and collaboration and competition to remain relevant, and we must integrate evidence-based interventions and in the areas of wealth building and financial coaching into existing county and community programs that are designed to promote economic self-sufficiency. We want to teach a man how to fish rather than allowing that man to be dependent on others. Douglas County is a place where citizens can attain good health and well-being. On the health index, Douglas County is the 29th healthiest county out of 159 counties in the state of Georgia. And our goal is to become number one. My administration will continue to fight to gain herd immunity by encouraging citizens to consider taking the COVID-19 vaccines and booster shots. We will continue our efforts to identify barriers to access health services for residents and veterans in need in aligned county and community resources to address underlying factors. We will keep leading the charge to integrate the delivery of behavioral health, substance abuse, mental health, and developmental disabilities for those in need through the wrap around services model currently available to citizens at Douglas County Community Services Board. By year end, I will release a comprehensive coordinated evidence-based healthy living report tailored to reach, inform, educate, and motivate Douglas County citizens to increase health-promoting behavior of all segments across this county. So stay tuned. I will have some healthy habits coming in the very near future for our county. Brighter days are ahead. And our recreational facilities and programs are our precious commodities. My call to action is to improve access and expand cultural and recreational services. Today, I call upon the Board of Commissioners to join me in securing a much needed comprehensive plan for our parks and recreational services. This comprehensive plan will address deficiencies, guide efficient and decision making and provide broad perspective on what resources are needed to advance parks and recreation services within this county. Together, we must create innovative ways to engage our youth because they are our future. I have charged my executive task force with benchmarking best practices to determine the best approach for establishing programs to support the needs of our youth. It is our time, our pivotal moment, to convert challenges into opportunities. Because I know our comeback will set us up for undefined possibilities. Despite the hard times we faced, I am optimistic brighter days are ahead. There is nothing beyond our capacity to come back stronger than ever. Our future has forged unforeseen trials and tribulations, and Douglas County has given resilience a whole new meaning. The best is yet to come as we press forward in a unified manner to dissolve the injustices and the inequities we face. And with everything that we've been through during these last two years, political discord has no place. Our tolerance level has been strengthened by the obstacles we faced. And hereafter, we will continue do, to do whatever it takes to propel and move our county forward. And my report today is as follows for this great county. The state of Douglas County is magnificent and the state of Douglas County is good. Give our county a hand.
I will leave you with these words of Vince Lombardi. The measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. It's not whether we get knocked down, it's whether we get back up. Our comeback is steady and our comeback is strong. May God bless Douglas County, the amazing state of Georgia, and these United States. Thank you. Thank you.